This question is from JWE Main 2013, it's on electrostatics. So we are given a rod AB of length L. There is a charge Q on it. We have to find a potential at the point O, which is at a distance of L from this end. Now the approach to solve this question is like this. First I'll explain it in briefly. So the approach is like this. We take a sample element of length say DL here which is at a distance of say small l from here this point. Now if we take a small element DL here it will have some charge on it. Say the charge on it is DQ. So we'll find the potential at this point due to this charge dq on this sample element then if i call that dv this potential at o due to this sample element as dv then we integrate dv with proper limits to get the total potential at this point that is the approach in problems like this now let's do it in detail so let's take a small element dl here so charge on it, so our sample element our sample element is of length dl to charge on dl is if I call it dq this will be charge per unit length into length of this element now charge per unit length of this rod will be total charge on this is Q length of the rod is L so this is charge per unit length on the rod if I multiply it with the length of the sample element which is DL so I get the charge on this sample element which I have called DQ now let's find the potential at O due to this dq so potential at o due to this sample element if i call it dv that will be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught because this is in air so 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught so the standard formula is charge divided by distance charge on the sample element is dq and the distance is L distance from the sample element to this point we have called it L so we can substitute instead of dq we can substitute this so this will be Q by L DL and divided by this L is there. So this is the potential at O due to the sample element. So this is TV. Therefore total potential total potential at O due to rod AB this will be V so we can integrate dv to get this integration of dv now if I substitute for dv 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by l dl by l now see in the integration we are integrating with respect to dl so dl and the length l is there so here the limits we can think like this for this point the distance is small capital L and for this point the distance of this point from here is twice L so we are integrating with respect to small L so small L varies from capital L to twice of capital L so here in the integration the limit will be from L to twice L. 
Now this part is constant 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught capital Q by L this is constant integration of DL by L is ln of L the limit is capital L to twice L so now this is a simple case of integration 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by L so first we substitute the upper limit ln of twice L minus ln of L now the options it, it doesn't match with the option so we use some mathematical manipulation so this is the log this minus log that so that will be ln of 2L divided by L this is from logarithm so LL will cancel out so we will get 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q ln 2 divided by capital L so this is the potential at O and this is option D I hope you have understood how I have done it see in questions like this our approach is we first take a small sample element we find the potential at this point due to the sample element then we integrate it with proper limits